Okay, we're starting early again. Hey, work day, baby. Yeah, this ain't race day. This is work day. Woo, look at there. What is that? Shiny. There it is. <laughs> the old SB2 engine is out of the engine cabinet. I guess we're putting it in something. I guess. You guess? Might as well, huh? We got all this downtime this week. Yeah, I got something. Gotta have something to do. Yeah. Gotta make content. You can't know? let can't let the wife think we're gonna have a vacation in the mountain. Heck no. No. All right, so this is our SB2 engine that we got at the end of last year. We sent it off to Race Tech and had it freshened up. We were hoping to have it back in time to have it in a car before we came up here, but some uh, parts avail availability delays uh, had it where we didn't pick it up until right before we came up to, or had, didn't get it until right before we came up to Bristol. But we got it now and we're about to put it in a race car and see what this thing will do here later this week for the second week of the Bristol Dirt Nationals. All right, so this is Betty with our Dell engine. And uh, that combination has been good to us. We had top 10 the first night here at Bristol. There's, uh, there was 35 cars here, by the way, some really good ones. And we finished 10th the first night. And then where did we, where were we scored the second night? 22nd, uh, after pulling off there early, saving the equipment the second night. So a 10th and a 22nd. Uh, we haven't set the world on fire by any means, but we've been close. But uh, we've thrown a lot of things at it and we're just, uh, we're gonna see what this other combination will do. What do you want to stop? You practiced last night? How'd it go? Were you fast? Oh, battery went out. Oh, oh man. You just get a battery charger. You'll be fine. Good car feel pretty good, though. How many of y'all is it? Do you know? 100. <laughs> Number are you? Two? Number two. Ty Ralph? T2. 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 Ty Ralph. If we're around, we'll try to win. Yeah, watch. we'll be rooting you on, buddy. That's right. Maybe we'll watch, even if we're watching on TV. <laughs> yeah, we might not make we it might up there. Here, we might we'll watch it on the TV. TV. So we'll be right. pulling for you. That's right. Yeah. Small feller. Yeah. Be on a big racetrack. <laughs> so what were you saying? I don't even know. Oh, you're about oh, to tell them about the yeah, car. Yeah, something Here's important. Here's what you can do. Everything, if, if that car, if that motor out there goes in that car, it's very real nice and good and we feel confident in it. We'll unload practice it on Thursday. Right. See if we're any better on speed. Yeah. So we hey, can always go back to that one. Supposed to have bow springs coming for that one. Okay. So I feel like that might be part of part of the issue. Like I seen a lot of people said that they would question the bow springs. Well, I had a one on one with that thing, and I asked them. I said, <laughs> "How are y'all feeling?" They said, "Boy, we're kind of weak." So, you know, we got some bow springs coming. So you questioned our bow springs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I did not mean to ride up here. I don't even know how I ended up. <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm up here. All right. So yeah. Um, we're leaving the Dell engine in that car. We can always go back to it. Um, so we get a practice night Thursday night. So we might as well put, like we said, the other SB2 engine in Faithful here and see what she'll do. It's not a wheel, it's a steering buddy. <laughs> hey, look out. So this here is Faithful. It's got the Dream in it currently. That's just not enough motor for that big old racetrack out there. Good motor, but it's not enough for here. Is this what we're using? Yeah. I had a plan, so I figured I'd fire the camera up. We'll get the car, roll it up under here, get that Dream out, get it hanging. Move the car out of the way, bring a truck. You gotta set it on the back of a truck. Okay, then get it out of the way. Roll this one over here, hook it up. Lift it up, push the car back under. And then how's that we got the same thing a second time to put that engine on the stand. stand. Boom. Figured it out. It. Do it, Johnny. Something like that. Jonathan's gonna get clean it up for us first. Yeah, I don't want you boys getting dirty, okay? Ain't gonna get none of that in our motor, are we? That dust. Yeah. Uh, hey, yeah, uh, good idea. Pull that over here. So we're coming in at a little different angle right here. There's our engine hoist, is what I'm getting at. We're gonna get to work. Y'all hang tight. We've done it before. Just not with our own lift gate. We had to borrow somebody's. Yeah, yeah. Said we're not going. We're not in a hurry today. Never done that either. What? I said that. He said ideally you just unload the other car, and I said, well, we've never done that either. So right, yeah. So. Listen, it should be simple. Yeah. Keyword should. You're only talking three, four, five oil lines that you wouldn't. Yeah, it's basically like crate motor. 
We got a water pump and all on this thing? Yeah, ain't nothing to this. This ain't nothing. Plug and play. Plug, plug and play, play, boys. All right, while they're getting to work, I wanted to say a quick thank you to our friends at Marshall Industrial Technologies for coming on board again here at Bristol. They were with us last year here at Bristol, and they're with us again. And just like last year, we're doing another giveaway. We're going to give away a Hunt the Front prize package, and all you got to do is click a link in the description to get registered, and feel free to check out Marshall Industrial Technologies' website while you're there. But all you got to do is click the link in the description, go get registered. We're giving away t-shirt, hat, koozie, stickers, all that kind of stuff, a cool prize package. And it's all thank you to Marshall Industrial Technologies. Like I said, thank you to Marshall for coming on board again here at Bristol. Happy to have them on the race car. Y'all check them out, get signed up for the prize package. Link is in the description. Said, please get me out of here. I don't want to go out there again. Don't put me back out there now, please. That ain't what I'm doing. I'm, uh, I'm good. Yeah, this line's always frustrating here. You always got to get the motor pulled out a little ways. Then you can. There you go. That a boy, Joey. Come on up. Like this. Come on up. Right, you gotta just get over there with it. Y'all okay, there it comes. Step one in the process. Over there. Y'all want me to grab the truck? Uh, yeah. Alright, I'll grab the truck. Is that the only thing we got to rob or we got to rob a flywheel too? No, we got a flywheel. All right, so the only thing we're really robbing off of here is the fuel pumps. Ain't the rod. Why right. yeah. the fuel pumps? Maybe oh, the rod. Rod. Okay, just the shaft. All right. Yeah. What about headers? We got another set of headers? Yeah. yeah. All right. There's what we're talking about, right? He done pulled it out. There's our shaft right there. Had to rob that out of there. Other than that, that thing's sitting there ready to go back into my, uh, in a car. I'll take that back. We had to rob the fan. It gives a little bit of room. Yeah, okay. Oh, so that setting in that hole. Halfway there.
We ready to put oil in this thing, crank it or what? Yeah. We gotta get the oil out of the, out of the oil pan. We ain't got it out of that yet. Okay. Oil's out of everything else but the oil pan. Okay, then we can pour new fresh oil in and crank this thing. Man, that thing fills up the space, doesn't it? Remember, if you overfill the system, you will pour it all out on the ground. You got water in? You put uh, anti-freeze in there? Because it gets cold up here in Tennessee. I can tell you that much right now. All right, so this thing only has dyno time on it since fresh. Timing should be good on it. Obviously, we'll check it. Um, but everything should be in good shape. Uh-oh. Water leak. Who put the bottom hose on? This is 445 cubic inches, right? somewhere pushing close to 900 horsepower is what we're dealing with right here oh we don't have our primer nope. dang that car over there we got a nice little primer you turn with the drill we going we're going to do the old trick of spinning it with a starter yeah i guess I beat as a starter. maybe not oh, yeah. what we needed all right boys Let's go. trying to figure that out that was zach from millennial farmer who uh, is here running a modified he stopped by right right in the middle while we were had the engine going but uh he's here uh, and yes he has a second channel where he does his racing videos uh between the roads and he's doing some modified uh racing here and making videos to so check him out uh, Gosh, here see some modified dude. racing oh, i just melted my arm off <laughs> dang it let's see it dang you have destroyed i've destroyed this thing Huh? Yeah. yeah you already moved it? Yeah, as soon as you, as soon as you broke it loose, I have pressure on you. And the distributor, we need to click it. When we get this one right, we'll get the distributor. I don't know which way to go with it. Uh, we're going to have to turn the motor on and we'll change right, it. Ready?
SB, the original SB2. Oh, no, geez. Yep. Pretty peppy piece. Pretty it ran well, kept up with them at Dixie and Rome. Yeah, and that ain't Bristol, but, yeah. you know, we'll see. She ought to ride. Yeah, I think we're going to be good. Well, at least we got your your hoodie off of there. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan, well. Jordan used the... Uh, Scrub brush there to get that off. I melted mine too, but not that bad. <laughs> that bad. You didn't feel it? No. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. You didn't burn yourself, just your hoodie. At least you walk right over here. Yeah, yeah she go show her. She might hook uh, you up. I'll wash her behind. Yeah. On the timing, we got a crank trigger, yep. right? So you can flip a switch and lower your timing, retard yep. your engine. Yes, sir. Okay, so we had to set them both. We get them both set? Yes, sir. All right. That's good news. Yep. So there's still a lot to do to this thing, including change the gear. But Jesse's about to cross that off the list. Cross it off. There you go. Cross it off. He's done. Uh, Got to get the seat in it. And I think we're going to have to change shocks and springs on it. Uh, all kinds of other little things. But we got several days to do it. Hopefully, if all goes as planned, we'll be out here practicing on Thursday night and then racing Friday, Saturday. So practice Thursday, 50,000 to win Friday, 50,000 to win again on Saturday. You can watch it all live on XR. Link is in the description. Uh, where you can find that remember to check out the Marshall Industrial Technologies uh, link in the description as well you can get signed up get registered uh, for the giveaway the prize pack uh, on the front apparel there so thanks again to Marshall Industrial Technologies for being on board with us y'all check them out and get signed up for the giveaway let us know what you think of our evil scheme here to get faithful going and see what happens hopefully hopefully everything goes well no, no issues there again just we want to see what faithful can do with the other sb2 engine in it and who knows we might end up running that one we'll see but i just i feel like joseph is probably going to be a little more comfortable and faithful that's his baby right there so hopefully we'll be in good shape and we can go and be uh, competitive again this weekend here at bristol for the bristol dirt nationals thanks for watching like comment subscribe and we will see y'all later